How's it? Today is Wednesday, September 14th, and I am redoing, essentially. Ooh. Ooh. I'm redoing what I did last week. I'm doing it correctly this time. So, last week I did Power Clean and Power Jerk, because um, I didn't know how to read. Those are all very difficult. I Two weeks ago, I did 115 power clean and jerk, which is the split jerk, of course. And I, for whatever reason, didn't remember that I did split jerks the week before. Uh, and so going from 115 two weeks ago to 118 last week, I had a lot of issues, a lot of struggles with that. So when I wanted to lift this week again, I wanted to re redo that just so that to make sure that I can actually hit 118. Uh, I didn't do a very good job. As far as the the jerk itself was a lot better, of course. I, I did not I did not do power jerks and I did the split jerk. Split jerk is a lot easier. I'm a lot more consistent with the split jerk. But my the clean for 118 was not very power um, I definitely dropped below parallel on the catch, and it's it wasn't uh, rock bottom, so that's something to think about, which is good for me. I think um, I've never been good at powers, so any type of height that is above rock bottom, like a f bottom th receiving position, is good, in my opinion. It's not. I'm not gonna say it's a power clean, like not at all. But I do know that that is a stark difference from how I would normally clean and how I would um, catch in the bottom, if that makes sense. Uh, honestly, these warm-ups felt pretty good when I was doing them. And I was pretty hopeful that I was going to be able to do 118 today, like, solidly. But uh, that was not in the cards for today. I am focusing on extending a little bit later in the pull and keeping my chest over the bar for as long as I can. Some of them don't look like I'm doing that, but that is definitely what I'm trying to do. That one was a little bit early on extension, and then I kind of rose, let my hips rise at the, at the first portion of the lift for 100. Um, right around 110 is where it starts to get hard for me. Like, I know I can power clean 110. Like, I think I can power clean 110 on any given day ever. But I don't know how I feel about, like, moving beyond that. You know, like, it, it's very dependent on the day. So 115 here is my last warm-up. It's not super great. Obviously, I went into a full clean here. But... I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna reattempt 115 because this isn't even the weight that I'm supposed to be hitting for my top set. So I just went up and I was like, you know, let's fuck it. We'll try. I was experiencing a little bit of um, wrist pain in my right wrist. Um, you see there, like I was talking about earlier, it's not rock bottom. Um, my my arms are under the bar before I hit like parallel I think but I just am unable to stop it jerk is really solid here and I wanted to reattempt it but I ended up cleaning all the way like absolute full clean yeah and I was like yeah this is it we're not we're not wasting time with my jerks here just because I need to make sure that I I don't experience as many fails as I did last week um, last week I failed on those the power clean and jerk um, then I failed on my clean deadlifts. So last week I, I was supposed to do work up to a set of two at 163. I did two sets of one. Um, and each of those two sets, I attempted my second set, second rep, pardon me. But it, <laughs> it resulted in failure. Like, mad failure where I'm like unable to move the bar off of the ground, which is just so silly. But uh, today is a lot better. I was able to actually do a complete set of two. Um, in addition to those fails last week, I was 
past, you know, with uh, back squatting 153, which is three kilos up from two weeks ago for a triple. And I did exactly zero reps at 153 last week. That is how absolutely terrible I felt last week. Today, though, um, it went a lot better. You know, I hit all three of them. Not super great speed or positional um, execution, but three is better than zero by a, a large, 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 large margin. Um, here's that set here. Lots of knee values on that second one. And at this point in the in the set, I was like, all right, like if I fail this third one, it's okay. I was I did two more than I did last week already. But I was able to squeeze through all of that. And you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, after that, I moved into my overhead press. I didn't want to increase anything for the overhead press, so I just uh, went back to sixty for five sets of five. Uh, nothing too big of that there. I don't think that it is super valuable to be pushing this right now, especially because I'm on this four-day split, right, where everything is just kind of all over the place. Um, and, yeah, it's, it seems like this would be the thing that should be pulled back on just because it's not super important. Like, I like pressing and stuff like that, but it's not... I don't think it is integral to my overall health, like shoulder health or upper body health or um, success in general. I feel like pull-ups are more important than this are, than these are. So um, that is what I ended up doing afterwards for accessories. Um, again, I'm, I'm not trying to skimp out on any accessories. So I do all sets of all my sets, regardless of how much time there was and how much time I spent at the gym today. But overall, uh, pretty good considering... Uh, it was just a redo of last week, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.